Hey everyone, it's Nicole coming at you with a tag video. Um, to, this morning I was watching Fearless Fame and um, she had done a video on the shiznit that I don't like uh, tag. So she tagged all of her um, subscribers or whatever. So I was, hey, ready to jump on board with this one. I don't usually do videos like this often, um, but hey, this one I had to. So anyway, Here's some of the stuff that I don't like. And again, I try not to use profanity, but if I slip up, forgive me. So anyway, uh, the first thing is when you're shopping and um, there are people there with children and they're running around everywhere and they're bad and their parents are not doing anything. And it's usually women. Um, no color preference. I mean, this is across the board. My pet peeve is get your kids. If they're running around climbing on fixtures and up under fixtures and hollering and running and sliding down the aisles, get them. They can hurt themselves. They can hurt somebody. I mean, what irritates me is they'll the parent will be um shopping or whatever and it's like stop come here um brandon come here austin come here or you know whatever their names are jane sue whoever come here go get them spank their behinds and make them sit down when i was young i was raised by my grandparents wherever i acted up i got my butt whooped right there and i bet you best believe it only took one time and i was minding and behaving like i should have i, I don't understand you know the Bible says, spare the rod, to spoil the child. I mean, sometimes it has to be hand over butt because these kids today are ridiculously bad. When they're out in public, they don't know how to act. And hey, you know, do something about it, parents. I mean, whew, it gets on my nerves. I mean, that really irritates me. I can't stand them hollering. I can't stand them running past you. You know, they'll run into your buggies, get in front of you. You got to stop quick, you know, so you won't bump them. And then, you know, if a salesperson or somebody says something to them, the parent wants to get mad at the, the salesperson or the store manager or something. Get your kids, you know, get them. Okay, next thing. This should have been top the on the top of the list. You know, most of you guys who watch me are just like me. You wear wigs, you wear weaves, you know, um, any kind of artificial hair, so to speak. Um, what I can't stand is if you're looking fabulous, you have this beautiful hair piece, wig, whatever, weave on, and somebody, is that a wig? Is that a weave? Is that your hair? And I mean... <laughs> look I know it looks good I know it's fabulous but don't try to call me out in front of every Tom Dick Saint Jane Sue who's around because you're hating or you know you may not be put together the way that you need to be you know the other day I was going to visit my daughter she works at a beauty supply and uh, this is the same beauty supply that I actually got the wig that I was wearing that particular day from so I'm walking in I had gotten so many compliments and it was the review of the wig that I had just uploaded yesterday so many compliments about that wig so I walk in the store standing there talking to my daughter nobody I mean, you know, we're just having a conversation. And this lady's like, you know, and there's a bunch of people um, in the line. She's like, did you apply that wig yourself? I'm saying, look, you know, if you want to know about my hair, be discreet. Pull me to the side and say, oh, that's beautiful. Or did you apply that yourself? Or, you know, some better and more tactful way i mean don't try to call me out because your hair is tall and yes hers was and the first thing she said because her friend was there she's like did you put that you know did you apply that yourself and then the lady with her's like gosh i didn't even know that was a you know a wig or whatever well i could tell because you know i i do hair i could tell well if you do hair do your own for one thing and then be discreet Pull me to the side if you had any kind of common courtesy and ask me. I don't mind telling anybody if it's a wig or not. I am so not ashamed of wigs because everybody and their mom wears weaves, wigs, ponytails, half wigs, or whatever these days. Even some natural people, so, and I'm one of them, so hey, 
you know, I'm so sick of that. That irritates me. That right there will get you cussed out. And then don't put your hands in it. Regardless if it's my hair or somebody else's hair on my head, don't put your hands in my head. I don't know where your hand has been. You could have scratched your butt before you touched my head. So don't do that. Okay, next. This one right here, those ugly lashes. Everybody, and I don't know if this is everywhere, but here in Montgomery, everybody has the same ugly, thick, feather-like lashes, and they look stupid. I mean, they don't look natural. They don't look dramatic. They don't look, you know, uh, made, you know, uh, for a nice natural face. They look like stupid, ugly, thick feathers on your eyes. I mean, they're like this long. They're black as tar. And then every time you move, it's like this. And then the rest of your hair, your face, makeup is tore up, but you got some stuck on lashes. And hey, if you use hair glue to put your lashes on, fine. I mean, everybody, there are a lot of people that do that, whether you use lash glue or hair glue, that's fine. But if you're going to use hair glue, don't glue it like you're going to track to your scalp, I mean, to your hair. I mean, all you see is, you know, um, sorry about that, y'all. All you see is the thick glue line on their lashes. And that's, oh, that irritates me. I mean, you look really dumb, you know. <laughs> Learn how to apply them the proper way or get a professional to put them on for you. I don't know. And then some places, some people will go to the beauty supply and have those people who are not skilled, not cosmetologists or beauticians or whatever, putting that, putting those lashes on in the beauty supply. I mean, really? Okay, let me get off that. Speaking of beauty supplies and wigs, everybody can apply a lace front wig. Most lace fronts, be it human hair, high end, low end, synthetic, whatever, they have combs. Even if they don't have combs, buy some bobby pins. Stop going to the beauty supply, buying a wig fresh out of a pack, slapping it on your head or letting the BSS people, the beauty supply clerk, put the wig on your head. And what they do is they roll it to the front instead of, you know, let, cutting the lace as close as possible like we usually do, y'all. They roll it to the front, glue it down so everybody has that same hairline. They have evolved so much. When lace fronts first became popular, everybody had to learn how to apply them. You know, everybody was using glue and tape or whatever. Now, you don't have to do that. But if you choose to, do it right. Don't let somebody who doesn't know what they're doing, who does their hair at home or wherever. And I'm not knocking people who do their hair at home, but get somebody who's know, knowing what they do. I mean, I'm so tired of seeing that rolled over lace front everybody's got the same front and then they pull them to the back put a, a big bow or well not a bow but a barrette should i say in a pin or some kind of decorative hair accessory and they pull them back and everybody has that round hairline and it's full of oil sheen and grease or whatever learn how to wear it if you go wear a wig learn how to wear it it's tons of videos if you don't have access to the internet Sit there, play with it until it works for you and it looks good. I am so tired of toe up lace front wigs on people until it just, I mean, I don't know. And that's the same thing for weaves. Learn how to take care of it, whether it's synthetic, human, beauty supply store weave, or, you know, the online, you know, high end weave or whatever. Take care of it. Stop trying to stretch your weaves and your wigs until you can't wear them anymore without taking care of them sometimes you can wear we i've had i have wigs that last me for years and people have worn weaves that have lasted for months almost a year if you're gonna do take care of it stop just plopping and going wash them wash your weaves condition them take care of them i'm so tired of seeing ready weaves tracks coming out you didn't over glue trying to stick stuff back down uh if it's sewn in tighten them up go back get whoever to tighten them up for you take it out do it again I, i'm like it doesn't make any sense you flawless from neck down and your hair is tore up raggedy oh ratty weaves 
ready wigs. And again, like I always say in my videos when it comes to the wig reviews, make it work for you. Don't just take the wig out of the bag and plop it on your head and just go. It looks like a wig. It's wiggy. Brush it out, comb it out, finger comb it, do something to make it look more natural. Okay, okay. Next. When you go into stores or, you know, places to pay your bills or any place where you're dealing with someone in customer service, I am so sick and tired of stank attitudes. If you don't want to work, don't go. Or quit your job and let somebody who wants to work with a great personality, who's friendly, who's courteous, who's polite, take your position. I'm so tired of stank attitudes you know you can go somewhere say i don't know the drugstore walmart and people are just you know can you help me find uh the cotton balls i don't know you know or you know the breathing hard or if you come through the line you know to check out it's like you know how are you doing i'm like you know i wish i could get up out of here yeah you know, i mean seriously you know, there are people, like I said, who will be glad to take your job. I'm, I mean, you're getting paid to do a service. Yes, you know, sometimes people come through your line who have bad attitudes as well. But, I mean, come on now. You know, I'm just in here trying to pay for my stuff or I may need a little help trying to find something or whatever the case might be. Don't get a tool with me. I haven't done anything to you. I didn't wake up next to you that morning or whatever. I'm just so sick of screwed up attitudes. You know, come on now. Okay, next thing. People, and this is gonna be it for me today, because I could, you know, all day long. People who put their personal business on social media come on now it's social media but it's meant to keep in touch with people or you know um share your family photos events or whatever don't be putting your breakup news or telling your business um you know about your man or your girlfriend or your beef with your best friend or your cousin or whoever that's too much. We don't need to know all that. You know, don't put that kind of stuff out there because one, you know, it tells about a side of you that people may not want to know, you know, or you could be opening the door for somebody to come and slide in and take your place, be it your girlfriend or your boyfriend, or an employer can see that because they do check nowadays and see if you're some messy person or if you're some psycho or some drama queen or king or whatever the case might be. Stop putting your personal stuff on Facebook, on Instagram, tweeting about it, whatever the case might be. Don't do that. We don't wanna know that. I mean, really, okay? That stuff is supposed to be kept at home behind closed doors. You know, I grew up with old people, and like they say, in Vegas, what stays in, you know, what's done in Vegas stays in Vegas. What's done at home stays at home. It doesn't need to be on Facebook, um, Instagram, or whatever. Quit that, okay? Leave that off. Anyway. <laughs> <sighs> that was me on my soapbox. But anyway, thanks for tagging us, Fearless fem Theme. Excuse me. <laughs> I am so, I mean, I just get passionate about stuff. So anyway, thank you, girl, for tagging us. Um, I enjoyed yours. And again, thanks again for doing that. And I hope you guys enjoyed my little soapbox rant about the things that I don't like or the shiznit <laughs> that I don't like. So, yeah, feel free to comment below if you agree with me. You know, hey, it is what it is. So, again, until my next video, I will see you then. Bye.